Hello everyone, it is my pleasure to share uh, my exam experience for the European Association of BCI certification exam with you today. Starting with the eligibility criteria for this uh, certification, you should be practicing in one of the ECC member countries. You can check the member countries at this link. Then you should have an active membership for European Association of BCI. If you are not a member, you can join it freely at this link. Then you should hold a national board certification in cardiology like a master or being enrolled in cardiology special training program as a fellow and then you will be required to uh, uh, represent a proof uh, like a letter of confirmation from your mentor. The exam simply has two parts. Part A which is an online MCQ uh, exam to test the theoretical knowledge and after passing this uh, exam uh, successfully then you will uh, gain an access for uh, uh, electronic logbook you will be uh, asked to uh, upload the total number of uh, bci coronary angiography and structural cases you practice uh, along uh, a two years uh, period to demonstrate training skills and experience and there is other requirement that I will share in the coming slides. Back to part A, the exam date for part A uh, usually at May uh, or uh, no November each year and uh, the, the exact date announced three months uh, ahead through this link. The exam is a 100 MCQ question with uh, five uh, choice. Uh, the exam held over uh, three hours with an uh, online proctoring uh, platform like ProctorU. Exam resources, uh, the main resource is uh, the European Association of BCI textbook. You can uh, uh, subscribe to uh, the online version of the book through this uh, link. And not all uh, chapters of this book is required. The required chapters are um, uh, listed in this uh, link, which contains the curriculum. The second important source is the uh, uh, EC guidelines touching the uh, interventional uh, cardiology field, like STEMI, non STEMI, chronic chronic syndrome, and revascularization guidelines. And a special focus in uh, the following guidelines uh, on the uh, percutaneous uh, uh, options like uh, in valvular guidelines uh, that uh, uh, talking about uh, uh, TAVI, uh, mitral valve intervention, tricuspid valve percutaneous intervention, paravalvular leaks, and in the GOCH guideline focusing on percutaneous intervention like SD, BSD, and BDA, and pulmonary valve implantation. The award guideline uh, focusing also on the percutaneous intervention options like EVAR, TVAR, and the peripheral uh, guidelines uh, with a special focus in the percutaneous uh, intervention solution like uh, uh, stenting and the peripheral uh, tree. And you can find here the uh, coming version of uh, uh, this uh, guidelines. Uh, we are expecting stemming on stemming guidelines uh, this year and the chronic chronic syndromes and uh, aorta peripheral uh, disease in the coming year. And third important source is the European Association of BCI core curriculum uh, webinar series. You can find it easily through this link after sign in, then choose uh, uh, the more detailed option. Then you will find uh, a six uh, webinar uh, series covering uh, the whole spectrum of uh, the exam. Here's uh, uh, a couple of uh, question example from the uh, official website of the European Association of BCI. As uh, shown here, there is two types of uh, question. Uh, a one with a clinical scenario and uh, an uh, uh, image like intracoronary imaging OST or IVAS or coronary angiography. Uh, the c there is some clues for the answer from the clinical scenario and there is also some clues from the picture. So uh, you should be uh, uh, familiar with uh, different intravascular uh, imaging modalities like OCT and IVAS and uh, uh, 
there is also some uh, resources I will share with you uh, to gain more uh, experience and to be more familiar with uh, OCT and IVAS uh, pictures and there is some uh, uh, direct question like this one uh, about 60 or 70 percent of the question uh, is like this one which contain an image and clinical scenario so regarding um, uh, useful resources for uh, OCT and IVAS starting with OCT uh, I have published a, a, a lecture in YouTube uh, how to read uh, OCT you can uh, find it at this link and uh, I also uploaded the, the lecture in SlideShare uh, you can download it easily to have uh, the material with you there is also a useful uh, uh, mobile application that is available at Google Play and App Store from Mount Sinai uh, Hostel uh, called OCT Aid application. It has uh, uh, a very useful uh, resources in how to read OCT with different uh, case examples. And regarding IVAS, there is uh, a YouTube uh, uh, playlist that contain uh, how to read IVAS uh, course uh, over seven lectures. You can uh, uh, access this course through this link. There is also a mobile application from Philips uh, called Philips Coronary IVAS uh, tutorial. Uh, this is also uh, very useful for uh, be getting more familiar with uh, different uh, IVAS pictures. And here is an uh, uh, good book for uh, MCQ practicing uh, prior to exam called the Interventional uh, Cardiology uh, Board Review Book. Regarding Part B, after uh, passing Part A successfully, you will gain uh, an access for electronic logbook. You will be asked to fulfill uh, this logbook over a period of 24 months, either uh, dating prior or after your success of Part A examination. Uh, it also uh, requires some um, uh, files to upload, like uh, you, a cover letter, a short signed uh, CV uh, for you, attendance of uh, at least one uh, version of Euro PCR or uh, uh, one of the uh, PCR uh, conferences uh, uh, publishing a manuscript uh, in the field of intervention and cardiology uh, or presenting it at one of the official uh, European of uh, Association of PCI Congress uh, some requirement from your mentor and supervisor at uh, your cath lab and some uh, information about your uh, training centers after finishing all this data this logbook will be reviewed uh, by uh, board members then you will uh, get a response from them either uh, passing part b or uh, further requirement for fulfilling this part other useful resources is uh, dr emmanuel Berlakis, uh a YouTube channel and uh, book and the European of Association of BCI fellow course material that is available through this link and finally uh, thank you and the best of luck for everyone